Sequence initiated. Sequence cancelled. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Got plenty of fuel, food, oxygen, so don't you go worrying about little old me. The juggling's been coming on well. Granted, it's easier when the artificial gravity's off. You know how I always used to call you up to remind me of my bank pen? Yeah. Well, I know pie up to umpteen decimal places, but I've forgotten one more tiny four-digit pen. Whatever's in there is using a lot of power. I could have sworn I had it memorized when I came in here. But I was a wreck. You know, when you first materialise, you're all over the place. I pushed myself so tightly into the corner. Just wanted the walls to swallow me whole. You must have been there for days. Not eating. Just staring. Waiting. Praying for another living thing to come through. Mom. Do you ever get lonely? the only sign of life for God knows how far. Or so alone. And I want you to remember that. Because before I tell you the next bit, I've got a science lesson for you. All right, so teleports work like, how do I say, like a 3D printer, okay? On one end, you have a scanner, and on the other, a receiver. So instead of sending you across great distances, it instead sends a copy. So to get me, from one ship to the other, it does the most detailed scan imaginable, okay? Y your moles, all those other imperfections, your fingerprints, uh, your memories, where you left your car keys, and then it sends it over to here, to the receiver. And here is where you get your freshly baked human, exactly as it was before. But on the other end, it now has a spare you, this, the original. And it, you know, it just turns you to dust. No one notices, and thus the illusion of teleportation is realized. And you know me, too clever for my own good. Well, I hypothesized that the receiver would still have my scan in his memory. So with a bit of jigging about and reworking the fail safes by partitioning the hard drives and leaving them yada yada, I managed something quite extraordinary. Only it wasn't exactly perfect the first time. I looked down at it. I had my crooked teeth and my brown eyes. But, you know, I must have moved some digits here and there, because whatever it was, it wasn't me. I was looking at what was essentially a pile of organs in a pool of blood. Which to a lonely man on the brink of starvation, Looked an awful lot like a pile of meat. Soured meat polluted the air long before it fell silent hours later. And all I could think was, what a waste. The food had spoiled. So I cleaned up. And I 
tried again. And again. And again. And over time I improved the code for a more optimal delivery system. Because mum, you're gonna hate me for this. Because you always said not to play with my food. <laughs> but I couldn't eat it raw forever. It had to be cooked. So over time, I turned the heat on the printing process up. And I roasted them alive. started to enjoy it. Not just the flavour, but I'll tell you now, the fry tastes the best. Kind of makes me wish I'd worked out a bit more. He's awake. reaction to reject it at first. But don't worry. After a while, all you notice is the aftertaste. Help! Help me! Help! I wish that would work for you. I wish that someone would step through that door right now and untie your hands and stop me in my tracks. It's just happened for you, hasn't it? You're fresh from the colony. The guilt hasn't set in. I promise you, that's a secret we'll take to our grave. As we're a coward, aren't we? Hmm? We were supposed to be one of the leaders. Top scientist. We got that bit to a T. But we can't even ask someone to put the kettle on, let alone lead human life into the stars. Because we saw it, didn't we? We saw it coming. A malfunction that set ablaze the whole colony. And you just skulked off. I need you to admit that. I need to see myself admit that. Arthur? Come on. It's just us. Good. Now I know we're being honest. I figured you'd be more responsive than Mum. Because why do I keep going? Hmm? What is there to fight for? I'm a coward. I'm such a coward. I should have kept a tally because I've lost count of the number of times I've set that airlock to open just to end this in a single instant and I can't. Every single time, I just cancel it and that big red beautiful button goes unpressed. I thought we were getting somewhere. You don't want to know how many are printed just for a kiss. I hope that maybe we could be something more. Well, not for long. It'd be way too crowded for that. And if we could get that locked door open, maybe we'd have riches beyond our wildest dreams. This isn't a fairy tale. Mum always wanted me to have siblings. Now I guess I'm not her only son. Surprise! In some ways, I wanted to think that my death was quick and painless. Like the fire that swallowed the others. 
But I wanted to know what I did to survive. I wish that my death could be something beautiful and poetic. Like a bright light up in the starry sky that she could look up to and think that I'd found peace. You know what? For a moment, I had hope. And now it's all over the floor. I can't eat anything else. Let's see if you can be a better man than I. You don't need this. You are what you eat. <laughs> <laughs> 